You guys already know that North Naperville Autos is the number one dealer of used cars in the Chicagoland area, but they are now offering shipping on all of their online purchases. That's right, if you buy a car at North Naperville Autos online, it'll be shipped directly to your front door. What's up guys, my name is Zach and today I am driving a 2010 Honda Accord EX. Up front is a 2.4 liter inline four and down below is a five speed manual transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here Honda Accord EX for a couple of reasons. Mainly the fact that it does have that manual transmission, something that got rarer and rarer as the Honda Accord went on and now is actually no longer available. But also I love bringing you guys these late 2000s, early 2010s Hondas. You guys enjoy them, I enjoy them, and so everybody wins. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, zackpradle.com, where you can buy stickers like this retro sticker pack or big friggin' bottle sticker, both with free shipping. You could also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form, and you can read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that 2.4 liter under the hood. It is a K24 engine making about 190 horsepower, but it's not bad. It offers a little bit of zippiness. And of course you gotta love that orange dipstick handle, sort of a signature of the Honda K series engines. However, let's get to the main talking point of this car, that manual transmission, something you don't see much anymore. This is the five speed. They did also offer a six speed manual, but this is the five speed. And my honest opinion of it is, I love it. This transmission is fantastic. Absolutely delightful, absolutely scrumptious, delicious, delectable. Any positive adjective you wanna throw at this transmission, it will handle with delight. I love driving this car. The clutch feel is amazing, very hydraulic, very intuitive. The shifter feel clicks right into gear, has a nice weight to it, not too heavy, not too light. And honestly, yesterday, I reviewed a 2017 BMW M3 competition in a six-speed manual, a rather rare option. And I loved that car so much, but I kept talking about how that clutch wasn't perfect. It bothered me a little bit. This is what I was looking for. Little did I know the perfect clutch and transmission was sitting here in a Honda Accord. Actually, I did know that because Honda is the golden standard when it comes to their transmission feels. I have never driven a Honda and thought, ugh, this doesn't feel good. They all feel amazing. And even this humble little sedan has superior shifting feel to most performance cars there are. And we'll talk a lot more about that at the end of the video. Last but not least, of course, the Honda Accord EX is front wheel drive. So with that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have four very basic gauges. I have coolant temperature off to the left and my tachometer. And on the right, I have my speedometer and fuel and a very small digital readout at the very bottom. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have my mode, channel, volume, and on the right, I have my cruise control. And the overall look and feel of the steering wheel isn't amazing. It's still decently modern, but for a 11 year old vehicle, still slightly dated. Off to the left, I have my VSA off and a climate control vent. And on the door, I have my power mirrors, power locks, and power windows. Moving into the center, I do get this little digital readout. Now, of course, this does not have a technology package from Honda, so it gets the smaller display. You could see where the larger display would fit, but nothing to write home about with that. I have two climate control vents, and then I have my climate controls up top and my radio controls down below. I love how they separate it. Keeps me from losing my mind a little bit. Although it is still a ton of buttons up top, we do have fan speed off to the left, temperature off to the right, and where to send it in the middle. I do get heated mirrors as well as a rear defroster, which is very nice. And then of course for the radio controls, I have my volume in the center. I have a big selector wheel and very typical folder, button, scan, skip, whatever you need. Down below that, I have a big garage door cubby and a traditional cubby with no garage door. And I have a little hidden ashtray and cigarette lighter. I like these little flap doors, makes the interior look clean when they're closed and of course functional when they're open. Then we come to the shifter itself. The actual shifter I don't believe is stock. I can't find any photos online with this shifter, so that leads me to believe 
this was added later. Of course, this is a dealership car, so I can't ask the original owner. To me, this almost looks like a Lexus manual shifter. I know Lexus hasn't done a manual in a very long time, but with the wood grain and gold lettering, kind of gives me Lexus vibes. But like I said, shifter feels fantastic. Very, very top tier shifting which I love. Then down below the shifter, we do have some cup holders. So we will do a big friggin' bottle test and with a little bit of persuasion, the big friggin' bottle will fit. It does bow out the cup holders a tiny bit, but hey, I really like this car. So I'm gonna give it a pass on the big friggin' bottle test. Then I get an armrest and we'll talk about the seats because this is an EX, it's a lower trim level. It does have cloth seats. They're comfortable, they're fine. I'm not bothered by them. And actually my driver's seat is power, which is fairly nice. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's go do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2011 Honda Accord and you might be saying, Zach, are you in the back of an Accord or a Maybach? I can't tell. Well, there's good reason for that. My knees are not hitting the seat in front of me. This is my driving position and I can stretch my knees out and I can't even make them hit the seat in front of me without moving my hips. And boy, can I move my hips. Headroom good, I'm 5'11", which shocks some people. They think I have the proportions of an Oompa Loompa and I don't, but I'm 5'11", my head is not hitting the ceiling. My knees are not hitting the seat in front of me. This is fantastic and another great, great reason why you should get this generation of Honda Accord over the Honda Civic. Power windows back here, two vents, and I do get a center console, two little cup holders. They're not gonna hold much, but you get a cup holders nevertheless. Let's hop around the very back. We'll take a look at the trunk and cargo space, and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're on the back of the 2011 Honda Accord, and I do wanna talk about the key, actually. I do have this trunk popper right here, which is very nice. However, something that was brought to my attention, these keys, have this one little bolt right here, little screw, and that's what's holding the key on. These break all the time. So if you are a Honda owner or looking to be a Honda owner, just be a little bit gentle when turning them in the ignition because this plastic will break and then the key will come apart. So just something to note. But once we are back here in the trunk, pop this up, nothing too crazy in here. I don't get any like amenities. I can pull this floor up. We do get a spare tire and a little jack kit, which is nice, but other than that, plenty of space back here for anyone in high school or college. You're gonna be able to fit tons of stuff back here, which is all you need in your first car. I absolutely love that on this level. And for a sedan, very, very big trunk, very nice. Now we gotta talk about the looks. And this generation of Honda Accord is sort of back and forth for me. First of all, I wanna say that this is kind of macaroni styling. Macaroni styling is a term I coined a couple videos ago when talking about these late 2000, early 2010 cars. So vehicles from this era are very comforting to me. That's what I grew up around. And so that's why I call it macaroni and cheese styling because they're kind of bland and they're kind of mushy, but they're comforting like macaroni and cheese being comfort food. So do I love it? No. Do I hate it? No. It's just kind of there and blobby and that's about it. I, I think it's fine looking though. I don't think it's ugly. But let's get on to my final thoughts. I know we kind of sped through this video a little bit, but I really wanted to talk about my final thoughts. I get asked all the time. I've reviewed over 800 cars. This is like 807 or something. I, I lost track. I get asked all the time, what's a good first car? What's a good first car? What should I get as my first car? And there's a handful of good answers. My go-to answer really truly is any car you can get your hands on. A free car is the best first car. But if I wanna take it a step further, if you have the option to buy a car, what should you pick? as your first car, it's this. They're affordable, they're reliable. If you're a car enthusiast and you wanna learn how to drive stick shift or you know how to drive stick shift but you want something to get into cars, something that's gonna be easy to commute and go to work in, easy to go to school in, this is it. Does it have crazy amenities? No, but you're gonna get a car that's going to be there for you and have superior shifting feel. I've driven some pretty cool manual transmission cars and I can tell you honestly, that this clutch and shifter feel the best. God, I just love this transmission so much. I wish I could build an end table with this transmission so I could get out of bed every morning and just shift some gears in this thing. That's how much I love it. You want a good first car, get a Honda Accord 5-speed. 
or six speed, and especially if you could find one with the V6. This little inline four is great, it's peppy, it's fun, but of course a V6 is even more peppy and more fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to North Naperville Autos for letting me take out their Honda Accord. This thing is absolutely awesome. I can't say enough good things about North Naperville Autos. They offer shipping, they offer financing, and they are Carfax certified. I don't know what more you can ask for from a used vehicle dealer. If you're looking for a new car, North Naperville Autos should be your first stop. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you really liked it. And I'm just gonna sit here and just play with this shifter. <laughs> Take care guys.